Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Annesley United Church in Markdale. Wherever you might be, at home, at your office, in your car, listening with your iPad or your phone or your computer, we welcome you. And we're pleased to know that we are not alone, that we are helping you to pray and to worship God every week. To do this ministry, there is a lot of work in the back scene. So we want to thank again um, the people who are involved in this ministry. David, Tim, Dale, Mark, Carol, and the music with Lorraine, Sheila, and Melinda. And all the people who volunteer to the ministry for reading the gospel. And uh, today we are celebrating the Trinity Sunday. My name is Gilles Haché. I'm apostolate for the Diocese of Huron with the Anglican Church. And I'm pleased to be with you and worshiping with you for this coming week. We invite you to pay uh, great attention to the new uh, website that the church have on now and we, you can find any information that you need. And uh, you can reach out to the administration at the church with the contact info that is on that page. So we wish you today a wonderful celebration and a worship time with God. So before we worship, we will turn to God and invite him to come to our life. And um, in the reminder, of our baptism. Christ is the light of the world. Christ is the light in our life, is the one who's guiding us, the one who showing us the way. So let us invite him today in our life and let us turn to him during this worship as the light of the world. And thank you to Lorreen for the wonderful prelude again to help us to get in the movement of the spirit and opening this celebration and get everyone in, uh, in a position where we are called to pray. So thank you very much for that. So today, uh, together, let's pause and call, call for worship. God, our Creator, we call you Father, Mother, Author of Life. Draw us closer to you, O God. Christ, our Savior, we call you the Son of the Messiah, the one who save. Draw us closer to you, O God. Holy Spirit, we call you the Advocate, the Inspire, Breath of Life, Wind of God. Draw us closer to you, O God. Ole, Ole, Ole Lord, God Almighty, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Draw us closer. To you, O God, draw us in spirit, Christ and Creator, that we may journey with you more fully and deeply in this life and beyond. Let us pray. Abba, Father, Mother, 
Creator, we call you by the name, by many names, but the name we choose so our relationship with you. We desire to draw closer to you, O oh God. We desire to hear your voice above the chatter of the world, to know your way and to walk in them. In your name we pray and we ask for your blessing. Amen. And now we will sing together Amazing Grace, verse 1, 3, and 5. We turn to God with our petition. Petition, we turn to him and we talk with him. We offer ourselves, our hearts. We keep in our minds, in our prayer, our friends, families, those who are sick, healed, those who are suffering, those who are alone. And today on this Sunday of the Holy Trinity, our answer for the petition will be Ole, Ole, Ole Lord of God. Lord God, you are always asking, Whom shall I send? Give each of us the courage of Isaiah to respond, Here I am, send me. Lord, I pray that I will be able to accept your call wherever you send me. I pray and I say like Isaiah, here I am, Lord, I will do your will. 
Ole, 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 Lord, we pray to you. You are beautiful, Lord God, because you are Ole, and your voice is all powerful. Give strength to your people and give the blessing of your peace. At this time, we pray for all the people who suffer from war, the country who are not able to bring peace together. We pray for our leader that they can have the courage and they can know the difference between giving life and taking life. We pray that you give us the courage to continue our mission as disciple and to bring peace in the world among us with our friends and families. Ole, Ole, Holy Lord, hear our prayer. Spirit of God, when we are fearful, you ask us, why? Are you not my adoptive one? O oh Lord, thank you for choosing us. Yes, sometime we doubt. Sometime we are slow to respond to your call. We are not always ready to see your face and your spirit acting in our life and others. Sometime we, we try to find you and we don't see you because we are too busy. Our mind is, is too busy with our own personal thing. So, Holy Lord, we ask you to help us to see you and to believe in you and to follow you. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, you speak to us of heavenly thing. Even when we are most interested in heartly thing. Speak to us in the night time of our life that we may learn the way and the will of your Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord, open our vision our arts when we see dark that we see light just that the light that we have lighted today sign of your presence help us to believe that the sun is always shining and that you are there with us we are not alone holy holy lord hear our prayer The dying, the sick, the lonely, and the forsake are your special people. We are all special to you, but you do give a special attention to those people. For you know their name. You have choose them. You have called them. by name, even as we call upon you once again, remember them, remember Win. remember Bob, remember Janet, remember Nancy, remember Alphonse, remember Jack, remember Mireille, Remember those who we know that are sick 
Alain, Martin, Brian, Louis, John, Paul, and remember us, all your children, as a family. Remember us because you love us. Help us to remember that you are the one that we should turn to. Give us the strength to remember others who need us. Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, hear our prayer. Come, Holy Spirit, come in our life. Give us your joy until we seek your face, face to face. And as you taught us, Jesus, we turn to you and we offer this prayer for everyone that we know and for ourselves. We turn to you and we call you Abba, Father, Père, Mother, Maman, you the Creator, and we sing. Today's scripture is from John 3, chapters 1 to 17. Jesus teaches Nicodemus. Now there was a Pharisee, a man named Nicodemus, who was a member of the Jewish ruling council. He came to Jesus at night and said, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God but no one could perform the signs you are doing if God were not with him. Jesus replied, Very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. How can someone be born when they are old? Nicodemus asked. Surely they cannot enter a second time into their mother's womb to be born. Jesus answered, Very truly, I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born of water and the Spirit. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the Spirit gives birth to Spirit. You should not be surprised at my saying you must be born again. 
The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sounds, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. So it is with everyone born of the Spirit. How can this be? Nicodemus asked. You are Israel's teacher, said Jesus, and you do not understand these things? Very truly, I tell you, we speak of what we know, and we testify to what we have seen. But still you people do not accept our testimony. I have spoken to you of earthly things, and you do not believe. How then will you believe if I speak of heavenly things? No one has ever gone into heaven except the one who came from heaven, the Son of Man. Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. We will now sing from Voices United 382, Breathe on Me, Breath of God, verses 1 and 3. I want to thank Lynn for the reading of the scripture from John. I have to say that the way she has read it out, that we may not need some preaching today, because the, uh, she was so very precise with the pronunciation and exactly the word of Jesus talking to you. That is how we are called to to read and to listen the scripture. It come and talk to you directly. So today on this Sunday of the Trinity, I am tendent to say that this gospel is really well fit for an exercise called the Lecture Divina. Lecture Divina is that we're repeating the words of God in silence in our hearts and loud in silence and reflecting and i think the way that the reading was done today it was an inspiration to that so thank you in the gospel jesus said to nicodemus you must be born again and he said the wind blow wherever it please. I mean, wherever it's needed. You hear it, it's song, but you cannot 
tell where it come from or where it's going. So this is what everyone was born from the Spirit. And later on he said in verses 11, Very truly I tell you, we speak of what we know, and we testify with what we haven't seen yet. But we still, you people, call to be accurate. So Nicodemus come to find Jesus when? In the night. Lots of questions come up. Why does he decide to go and find Jesus in the middle of the night? Was he afraid that people see him? Was he hiding something? hiding himself, hiding from his friend, because you know that Nicodemus was a very strong businessman, entrepreneur, and he had question for Jesus. So he went during the night, in the middle of the night, in the dark. I guess he wanted to see the light. I guess he had not seen the light yet. So, it is for fear or being seen from people on board. Or does the light and the night open us to more than fear? This gospel, I'm wondering if it does not evoke the personal path, the secret of the arts of this man who come to Jesus. We all have our personal life. We all have our personal deep conscience inside that no one even after our death will know, not even our best friend. I ask someone when preparing a funeral, a couple that were married almost to 63 years, and I ask the spouse, the newly widow, what is the most secret thing that you have shared together or you think that your husband have through this wonderful year with you? Her response was, my friend, you will learn with the time and wisdom. It's not because you live with someone for one day, then 10 days, then 10 years, then 60 years, or a lifetime commitment that you know exactly the treasure that it is in that person's hearts. And I think this is the point here. Does it evoke the personal path secret of the arts of Nicodemus by going seeing Jesus? Nicodemus is in an attitude of openness. He has a deep idea of the mystery of God and he has respect to. He come to Jesus with what built him, with his knowledge, with his captivity for deduction and his intuition. You know that Jesus come from God as a teacher who teach. What does a teacher do? Help you to grow. Help you to learn. Help you to see things different. Help you to, to move forward. To go somewhere else where you're called to. A teacher help you to let go things after you have the knowledge of doing it. Jesus respect this man, Pat. His response is firm and clear at the opening of Nicodemus' heart. Jesus responds by opening a new field 
from elsewhere. He showed him a new course, a new direction, a new way to see life. It is about being born of water and the Spirit. It is about being reborn, changing, a real change, a completely change, and believe in it, and be faithful to it. To be born or to be reborn, is it not the first and foremost something that it imposed on us? To be born is without knowing. To be born is without control. To be born is without assurance. To be born indicate the beginning of path from which we are unable to know where it will lead us. To be born it's giving to us and it's to be received and we are called to live it fully. The wind blow where it will. The path it's not itself marked out. Only one indication is given by Jesus to Nicodemus. To remain in listening the voice of the wind. To keep listening the voice of God. The voice of en silence. And it is to follow that voice, to follow her, without waiting to know where she come from or where she's going. The voice of God is mysterious. The voice of God is full of surprise. When we are there, when we follow it, when we believe in it, we can do more than we can ask for or imagine. Continue to receive what it's giving, a new desert, a new Passover, a new life. The time of the resurrection is that of the passage from night to day. We pass from the night to the light. It is that a radical novelty to beginning, to the beginning and an ever pathway, and it's always a bright one. That's what the gospel, my reflection, is calling us. To open our hearts and to have faith that Jesus is telling us, just like he tell Nicodemus, we don't know where the wind blow, but he have its reason in your life. As Christian, we are called to follow the wind because the wind is God's calling us. Amen.
my friend, we want to thank Sheila and Melinda for this wonderful music that we have just shared together as a prayer that unify the old message of the gospel together as a prayer. So now let's turn to God and offer our prayer of thanksgiving. O God, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, in whose name we are baptized and into whose fellowship we have been received, we cling in faith to you, the only God. We praise you, dear Father, for having loved us and send your Son to die for our sin. We praise you, dear Jesus, for having redeemed us from our sin by sacrificing yourself for us. We praise you, Holy Spirit, for having sanctified us, for you giving you us faith, and throughout faith cleanse us from sins. O God, gracious, unable us, to always believe and obey and to worship and confess you, O Creator, Redeemer, one God, eternal and all glorious forever. Amen. And now we will sing our closing hymn, A Light of Gleaming, verse 1, 2, three and four. Spreading its arms throughout 
the night Living in the light Come share its gladness God's radiant love is burning bright Living in the light My friend, the service is ended. But before, let us together give thanks to God and let's go out and worship the Lord. Untrust yourself to the wind of God's Spirit. And may God give strength to all of us. May Christ Jesus bless you, bless me, bless your family with peace love and kindness, and may the Holy Spirit whispering with you in your hearts give you assurance that you are God's children. We go in peace to love and to serve the Lord in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to the mission that we are called to. Amen.